Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United. I'm of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody. And it's Rumours Around Leeds video again. Um, trying hard to keep up with these rumours, you know what I mean, as it ticks down to deadline day on Friday. Leeds are looking like they're in full flow with the transfer window and finally getting to grips and, and get some players in. We're going to round them all up today, all the rumours that have come out. Today there's been it's been a busy day and pleasure to get through without further ado. It's all incomings of course now. That's what we like to hear, that's what we need. So let's get going with it and we'll start at the top of sorry at the well at the back of the pitch. And it's full backs we need. We all know about the full backs that we're needing. Sam Byron going off injured in the win at Ipswich on Saturday. Junior Furpo is coming back from injury, but he hasn't got his best of injury records. Um, since he's been at the club, you know, Drame had a poor cameo appearance, didn't he, on the, on, on the weekend. So, and that leaves you with just ailing, doesn't it, really? So, and Hell, Hell Day isn't, I don't think he's really going to be that involved as, as we're moving to the actual bulk of the season. So, yeah, we're needing more players and it, in that area and it looks like they're trying to get it in. Jed Spence is on everybody's lips, but we'll go to left back first, and it is Luke Thomas. Phil Hayes suggesting that Leeds United want Luke Thomas on loan. He is saying that Leicester are a bit hesitant to 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 give him to a to a championship rival, really, and potentially a promotion rival at that as well. So Luke Thomas is a twenty two year old, experience in the Premier League, eighty odd games in the Premier League for. For the Leicester City won the FA Cup with them as well at such a young age. Good experience for a young player. Obviously liked by Leeds, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Let me know in the comments, any Leicester fans watching as well, How what would we expect from this left-back? Young Luke Thomas potentially coming in on a season long loan from Leicester City. On the other side, like I said, Jed Spence has been heavily linked. Again, Phil Hay has said that Leeds like... Spurs right back, Jed Spence, and have <coughs> sent a proposal to Tottenham for a potential season-long loan deal. We've already got Joe Roden on a season-long loan from Spurs. Will he follow his fellow defensive player and you know and Jed Spence and sign for Leeds in the coming days? Um, let's wait and see. I mean, Sky Sports are obviously reporting on it as well. We're wanting him on a on a season long loan basis but also there's plenty of championship suitors for him probably a little bit complicated as i've read um for us to get it done but can we get it done of course we can and um, why wouldn't he want to come to leeds over the ones other ones that are said to be interested i don't know who it is i think it's swansea and and, and another one so let's wait and see let's wait and see where he fancies to go but we are in for jed spence on the right hand side of of the back four also is Glenn Kamara who's close um, reported by Fabrizio Romano yesterday not heard anything on that one today but it's supposedly close no problems with personal terms it's already been agreed fee's been agreed and everything like that so it should be imminent really I've seen Twitter is amazing at this kind of time isn't it all sorts of rumours and stuff going on Apparently a private jet's landed in Leeds not that long ago as of recording. Um, so, from Glasgow, so people are thinking that's potentially Glenn Kamara on there. Who knows, but I think Glenn Kamara's probably done in the next... I won't be surprised if it was done tomorrow. It has to be done, till, it has to be done by Friday, do not they? They all do, but let's wait and see how that happens. But Kamara is another one, Glenn Kamara finish centre back from Rangers that's nearly done um another one centre mid sorry centre mid not centre back centre mid another one obviously there's the Japanese lad we spoke about last night um Ao Ten Tenkara Ao Ten Tenara can't remember his name now I'm a bit tired obviously <laughs> can't remember his name Ao Tankar, I think his name is, um, from Dusseldorf. Um, 
bid's gone in from him, but again, for him, but again, nothing's move, no movement on that one today. Let's see what happens tomorrow, but nothing, heard nothing about him today. But we have heard about another centre back, centre mid link. I keep wanting to say centre back for some reason. Another centre mid link is um, a lad playing for Angers and in France, and we might remember him that team from our pursuit of Unahi last season. Ultimately went to Marseille, but he was playing for Angers as well. They got relegated from Ligue 1 last season, like we did the Premier League. Playing in League, League, what, League Two. <laughs> in the second division of French football. Angers, and it's, um, Baptista Mendy. That we wanting to sign. It came out, again this afternoon on uh, Turkish, uh, journalists or Turkish sort of traffic and sport. I think almost like a fan channel sort of thing. Um, that Tram and Spore were basically ready and, and waiting for him to come. This um, Baptista Mendy. But now it, they're saying he wants Leeds. So that's what's triggered that that sort of link. don't know how legit this one is to be honest with you. And I don't know how legit the journalist that was saying about it is. But that's a rumour you know. I think he's 23 year old, this lad French fella, centre mid. Again, anybody watching knows a bit more about him than me, then let me know in the comments there because I have no idea about this fella, it's just I've just seen it today. So let's wait and see what happens on that front. And then, you know, we start to get into the meat of it. I think the final one really I want to speak about is um, Amiri. Obviously, we. I don't think I've spoke about him actually on the rumours around Leeds, but I did speak about him briefly in in the Ipswich preview because it came out on that night that I was taught that I was doing it. Um, and he's toed and fro, toed and fro. He does want to come, then he doesn't, then he does again. I think basically he's watched Saturday's performance and thought, actually, yeah, I do want to go. Not going to play at Leverkusen. He was on the bench unused. They won three 0 against Munch and Gladbach. Max Fobers Munch and Gladbach. I think he played the whole game. On Saturday, but he's not going to play much. Is Amiri for Leverkusen? Maybe the penny is starting to drop for him. That maybe a move to Leeds isn't the worst thing in the world. He apparently doesn't want to play championship football for longer than probably a season. Well, let's hope none of us do, fellow. None of us do. So let's hope that we can push for a promotion, push and get the promotion with him in the team. Apparently, um, he is flying or he's in Leeds at the moment to uh, to complete his medical because the fee has been agreed last week and everything's been agreed. So it's up to him, waiting for him to make a decision. It's look sounding like he's made a decision to join us now, and uh, so apparently he has flown to Leeds. He's in Leeds. He's in England now. Apparently. Um, to complete his medical tests and become the lead, uh, a new Leeds United player. So let's wait and see on that one. Obviously, this lad is probably far and away better than the championship, but would play at number 10. And there we started to build a uh, a pretty decent side. If some of those rumours come true and we, we get some of these lads in, we're going to have, we're going to look, you know, the squad's going to look a lot stronger and, yeah, a lot, lot more positive really than it was this sort of this time last week, isn't it really? So, yeah, that's that's really good, um, and hopefully we can get some of these guys done by Friday. Let me know in the comments there below what you're thinking about all those rumours that we spoke about there, and any that you've heard of yourself as well. Always like to hear about other rumours that I haven't heard about. So. Drop them in the comments if you know of any. And thank you very much as always for watching. Marching on together. I'll see you on the next one.